Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. One of the most popular, a uh, very popular series of books is entitled The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. You've probably heard of it. They are called self-help or self-improvement guides. The premise behind this line of books is that if you follow these points, you will be a better, more effective person. You will be good at your job, you will be good at home, you will be more productive. Of course, Mary Poppins likes to say, practice is perfect in every way. <laughs> Stephen Covey is the one that wrote The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He wrote it back in 1989, still very popular today. And that book was the first non-fiction audio book to sell over one million copies. Covey argues against what he calls the personality ethic. This book rather promotes the character ethic. Aligning one's values with so-called universal and timeless principles. Principles being external and again timeless. Values being internal and subjective. Values, look at it this way, values kind of govern our behavior. Principles determine consequences and outcomes. These seven habits, according to Covey, manifest progression from dependence to interdependence, saying that please take care of me to we're all in this together. And some of those habits are to be uh, proactive, to begin with the end of mind, put first things first, to seek to understand rather than be understood, and balance in all of life. Many have found great value in this self-help philosophy. The world is likely a better place for those who have made such changes in life. But, always oh, luck, isn't there? The self-help movement no matter how good it is, it starts with the premise is that you are flawed and that you need to be fixed. And when you achieve that, you and the world will be a better place. The way of Jesus, however, the way of Jesus takes you as you are at this very moment and says, you are blessed. You are blessed right here and right now, you are blessed. And you need to know that on the front end. This is Jesus' first public teaching in the Gospel of Matthew with his disciples in the crowd together. And he says that you are blessed. And you will be blessed in ways that you do not expect. Being blessed is not just for the sake of future joy and self-improvement, but you are blessed for the sake of making it through supremely difficult times. These are what is known to be common to the attitudes. You are blessed, meaning that you have found favor with God right here and right now. And if you can realize that you are blessed, you will become a blessing to others and to the world. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You are blessed when you are at the end of your rope, so to speak. With less of you, there is more of God in your life and your world. Blessed are you who mourn. They will be comforted. You are blessed when you have lost what is most dear to you. And in that moment of mourning, you will be embraced by the one who holds you most dear. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now, meek doesn't meek implies humility, not simplicity. Two different things. You are blessed when you are content with just who you are, no more, no less, and then you'll find yourself the proud owners of all those values that cannot be bought. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for you will be filled. You are blessed by your deep, deep hunger for God. Because God is food and drink and the best meal you will ever eat. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. You are blessed when you show that you care. And you are blessed when you can show kindness unreciprocated. And so at the moment of being careful, you will find yourself cared for. 
blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. You are blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and your heart, reoriented. And then you can see God in your outside world, in the life that you live, day by day. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. You are blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete and fight. And yes, you are blessed when you are reviled and persecuted. You are blessed when your commitment to God invites ridicule. That persecution can only drive you deeper into God's way. You are blessed. You are blessed right here and right now. These blessings, the attitudes, or sometimes translated as the way of happiness, they reflect the very heart and mind of God. And this way, this way of God is, is grounded in trusted Hebrew spirituality. And this grounded, trusted Hebrew spirituality is what forms Jesus. And then Jesus forms us into a people living his way day by day. The prophet Micah, in those wonderful words, the prophet Micah has the rhetorical question. He says, why do you find the way of God so hard? Or, as a translation, what does the Lord require of you? The way of Jesus is within your grasp right now to do as the prophet says, to do justice, love mercy, walk humbly. It is as simple as that. Do justice. Don't just affirm the theory of justice. Do it. Do it now. Act in fairness and equality for all. No exceptions. Be impartial and honest towards all people. And do it now. Love mercy. Be kind and be gracious to those who have no power to be kind to you. Be kind to those who cannot or will not respond to you that way it is done. Walk humbly. Walk humbly with God. Humility, humbleness comes from that word that describes virtue, human, of the soil, basic, organic, created in truth, authentic. Humility is the ability to say, God is great, and God is good. And humility says, it's not that hard to be this way. You are blessed indeed, right here and right now. This is not self-help. This is God that we're talking about. Jesus is saying that God is here for you. That God is here for us. And you need to hear that on the front end. The words of Jesus are an invitation to live in the present moment in a way that reflects God's future for everybody. And God's way is a way that is filled. God's way is a way that is filled with inclusion, acceptance, loving kindness, and love above all, and forgiveness. No exception. In all of this, you are blessed. Right here. Right here. In God's name.